lighting hymns were from the Adoramus Hymnal, Ignatius Press, San Francisco, 1997, the Epiphany section from 350 uh, on, and from the CD set, Disc 2, from, uh, numbers fi uh, 54 through 58. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You were born in a cave hidden from the eyes of men, but the heavens revealed you to all by means of a star. It offered you the Magi to worship you. In the fervor of their faith, have mercy on us all. That was the second troparion from uh, Raya, Byzantine daily worship for Christmas tide. The Hippokoi. <coughs> o little child lying in a manger, by means of a star heaven has called and led to you the Magi, the first fruits of the Gentiles astounded to behold, not scepters and thrones, but extreme poverty. What indeed is lower than a cave? What is humbler than swaddling clothes? And yet the splendor of your divinity shone forth in them resplendently, O Lord, glory to you. From page 559 of Byzantine Daily Worship, 1960. 67, I think.
before the morning star begotten, and the Lord from everlasting. Our Savior is made manifest to, and to the world today. The light has come, the glory of the Lord is risen upon you, like a frame of fire that star glitters above, revealing the King of Kings. The kings of Tarshish and of the Isles shall give presents. The kings of Arabia and Saba shall bring gifts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Almighty and everlasting God, the brightness of all faithful souls. You brought the Gentiles to your light and made known to them the one who is the true light, the bright and morning star. Fill, we beseech thee, the world with your glory and show yourself by the radiance of that light to all nations. Through him, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. And let us greet our Eucharistic Lord. truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. <clears throat> o Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. And let us sing the O Salutaris found in the back cover, in her back cover of the Missalette. <coughs> o Saving Victim. O Saving Victim, open wide the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your aid supply, your strength bestow. To your great name be endless praise, immortal Godhead, one in three. O oh, grant us endless length of day, to native land with thee, O salutaris ostia, que celi pandis ostium, bella premun ostilia, da robe fe, zilium uni trino que domino, Sit sempiterna gloria, qui vitam si ne termino, nobis donet in patria. Amen. O Lord, we turn to you in repentance and thanksgiving, in adoration and in supplication, not only for our need, but for the needs of all. And as we now examine our consciences and enjoy, turn to you to receive your ever abundant gift of forgiveness and mercy. We 
meditate upon your Ten Commandments. The response is, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. I am the Lord your God, you shall not have strange gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol out of anything. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Remember to keep holy the Lord's day. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Honor your father and your mother. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. You shall not kill. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. You shall not commit adultery. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. You shall not bear false witness. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. You shall not covet your neighbor's goods. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And let us sing the Beatitudes. The refrain is, blessed are they. <coughs> Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are they who are meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are they who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are they who are clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are they who are peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <coughs> And let us pray the act of contrition, uh, the version found on the back cover of the missalette uh, handed out. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend with your help to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Uh, in Greek. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie Brothers and sisters, in baptism, we have been plunged into the saving death and resurrection of Christ. 
we have been washed in the the grace that our Savior has won for us. He alone who can win salvation. And in baptism we have been adopted as the sons and daughters of God the Father in Christ, through Christ and the Holy Spirit. And let us renew our commitments, our vows of baptism, that we may walk with Christ in newness of life as we celebrate with joy this time of his incarnation, especially when the Magi came to present their gifts and their commitment to him. Let us renew our promises of holy baptism by which we renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty promises and promise to serve God, the Holy Trinity, in the grace of Christ, in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. The response is, I do. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show? I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. And let us profess our faith in God the Trinity, in God the Eternal Word incarnate for us, in the words of the Apostles' Creed, which can be found in the Magnificat, on page 214, and in the Missalette, on page 86, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now we have the asperges, the sprinkling with baptismal water to remind us of this his commitment to baptism, and as we ask the Lord to renew the grace of baptism in us, and that we might be channels of that grace, of his love and mercy to all around us. Sprinkle me with hyssop, O Lord, and I shall be cleansed. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. I will pour clean water upon you, and you will be made clean of all your impurities. And I will give you a new spirit, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy has given us new birth into a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, into an inheritance that will not perish, Preserve for us in heaven, for the salvation to be revealed at the last time. 1 Peter 1, 3-5 I saw water flowing from the temple. Alleluia. Alleluia. From its right hand side, Alleluia. Alleluia. 
and all to whom this water came were saved and shall say, Alleluia, Alleluia. O chosen race, O royal priesthood, O holy nation, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia, Alleluia. You springs and all, <coughs> all that moves in the waters, sing a hymn to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. <coughs> O oh God, our Father, by the power of the Spirit, we follow the Magi to adore our Savior and to sing his praise. O oh Lord, our God, a star led the Magi to your Son. May the sound of your word and the light of your Spirit lead us today to worship before him in spirit and in truth as we celebrate the incarnation, the birth and manifestation of Christ, not only to the shepherds and to Israel, but to the Magi and to all the nations through them. Bring, may we bring the gift of our lives to him, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of Isaiah, the prophecy of Isaiah 66, 22, 23. As the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall endure before me, says the Lord, so shall your race and your name endure from one new moon to another and from Sabbath to another. All mankind shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. <clears throat> you must fear the Lord and worship him faithfully with your whole heart. Keep in mind the great things he has done for you. 1 Samuel 12:24. All nations will come and worship before you. Revelation 15, 4. Lord's or morning prayer can be found in the breviary the uh, Liturgy of the Hours, the Catholic Book Publishing, 1975, and reprints. The book, the proper, the uh, Psalms can be found beginning on page 688 for week one, Sunday week one. This can also be found in the iBrievery app. And the propers can be found under Epiphany for morning prayer. Beginning on page 562, 562. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. The hymn is uh, Lucian Dyson's All You Nations. <clears throat> the refrain. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Joyfully shout, all you on earth, give praise to the glory of God. And with a hymn, sing out his glorious praise. Alleluia, Alleluia. All you nations sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Let all the earth kneel in his sight, extolling his marvelous fame. Honor his name in highest heaven, give praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come forth and see all the great works that God has brought forth by his might. Fall on your knees before his glorious throne. Alleluia. Alleluia. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory and thanks be to the Father, honor and praise to the Son, and to the Spirit, source of life and love. Alleluia, alleluia. All you nations, sing out your joy to the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Antiphon 1 on page 563. In the first volume, the Advent Christmas volume of the Liturgy of the Hours. The wise men opened their treasures and offered to the Lord Gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Alleluia. The wise men opened their treasures and offered to the Lord gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Alleluia. The Psalms for week one, found on page 688. Psalm 63, verses 2 through 9. A soul thirsting for God. Whoever has left the darkness of sin yearns for God. <laughs> o God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul 
his thirsting. Antiphon 1, on page 563. The wise men open their treasures and offer to the Lord gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Alleluia. The wise men open their treasures and offer to the Lord gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Alleluia. Antiphon 2. Mighty seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Springs of water, sing his praises, alleluia. Mighty seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Springs of water, sing his praises, alleluia. The Canticle of the Three Young Men, on page 689. Daniel 3, 56 through 88. Let all creatures praise the Lord. All you servants of the Lord sing praise to him. Revelation 19, 5. The refrain is, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, Bless the Lord, all you waters above the heavens. Bless the Lord, all you hosts of the Lord. Bless the Lord, sun and moon. Bless the Lord, stars of heaven. Bless the Lord, every shower and dew. Bless the Lord, all you winds. Bless the Lord, fire and heat. Bless the Lord, cold and chill. Bless the Lord, dew and rain. Bless the Lord, frost and chill. Bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth, bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Esariah, and Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Bless the Lord. Antiphon 2 on page 563. Mighty seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Springs of water, sing his praises. Alleluia. Mighty seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Springs of water, sing his praises. Alleluia. Antiphon 3. Jerusalem, your light has come. The glory of the Lord dawns upon you. Men of every race shall walk in the splendor of your sunrise. Alleluia. Jerusalem, your light is come. The glory of the Lord dawns upon you. Men of every race shall walk in the splendor of your sunrise. Alleluia. Psalm 149, the joy of God's holy people. Let the sons of the church, the children of the new people, rejoice in Christ their king, Ezekiel. 
Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hands. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Psalm Prayer Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as creator and redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Antiphon 3 on page 563. Jerusalem, your light is come. The glory of the Lord dawns upon you. Men of every race shall walk in the splendor of your sunrise. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jerusalem, your light is come. The glory of the Lord dawns upon you. Men of every race shall walk in the splendor of your sunrise. Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, from the 52nd chapter, verses 7 through 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who bring glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, Your God is king. Hark! Your watchmen raise a cry, together they shout for joy, for they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people, he redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of of our God. Responsory. All the kings of the earth will bow down in worship. Alleluia, alleluia. All the kings of the earth will bow down in worship. Alleluia, Alleluia. Men and women of every nation will serve him, and they will bow down in worship. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Alleluia. Alleluia. <clears throat> All the kings of the earth 
shall bow down in worship. Alleluia, alleluia. The antiphon for the canticle of Zechariah, found on page 564. Today, the bridegroom claims his bride, the church. Since Christ has washed her sins away in Jordan's waters, the Magi hasten with their gifts to the royal wedding. And the wedding guests rejoice, for Christ has changed water into wine. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Benedictus The Canticle of Zechariah from Luke 1, 68-79 can be found for those with the Magnificat on the back fold-out, the back cover, B. Also, for those with the breviary, it can be found on page... 655, page 655. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Antiphon on page 564 of the Canticle of Zechariah. Today the bridegroom claims his bride, the church, since Christ has washed away her sins in Jordan's waters. The Magi hasten with their gifts to the royal wedding, and the wedding guests rejoice, for Christ has changed water into wine. Alleluia. Alleluia. Intercessions. Today our Savior was adored by the Magi. Let us also worship him with joy as we pray. Light from light, shine on us this day. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Or in Greek, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christ, you revealed yourself in the flesh. Sanctify us through prayer and the word of God. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Christ, your witness was the Spirit. Free our lives from the spirit of doubt. Kyrie eleison, 
Hear ye, lady son, hear ye, lady son. Christ, you revealed yourself to the angels. Help us to feel the joy of heaven on earth. Hear ye, lady son, hear ye, lady son, hear ye, lady son. Christ, you were proclaimed to the nations. By the power of the Holy Spirit, open the hearts of all. Hear ye, lady son, hear ye, lady son. Kyrie eleison. Christ, you generated faith in the world. Renew the faith of all believers. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ, you were taken up in glory. Enkindle in us a longing for your kingdom. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. O Lord Jesus. Remember your vicar, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Sean, our pastor, James Hickey, my abbot, Damien, all bishops, priests, and deacons, and for all <coughs> the people of God, monastics and religious, all who minister in your name. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. On this feast, we adore you, O Christ, revealed by the Father in the Spirit as the light of the nation, the light of the world, the salvation of the nations. Direct the leaders of all the nations in the ways of truth, justice, freedom, equality, growth in virtue, and the protection of all human life and its advancement from conception throughout to natural death. Kyrie elegi son, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O Lord, protect all those who are persecuted, all those who are pressed or crushed down, especially our fellow Christians. Deliver all people from the enslavement of bigotry in all its forms. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O King of the universe, you call the Magi to come and adore you. Manifest your name to all peoples and grant that the message of the gospel may spread to all according to your will. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord of glory, you led your people in righteousness. Grant lasting peace to all, especially to those suffering from war or disaster of any sort. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O Christ, your name is forever blessed. Work the marvels of salvation for us all attend especially to our friends, our family, our enemies, our neighbors, our co-workers and associates. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Send your protection and guidance to our military, our police, our firefighters, our physicians, nurses, and healthcare workers, especially during this time of this pandemic. Protect them as they strive to protect us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O Lord Jesus, as we start a new civil year, remind us 
clearly that every human life has immortal value. Help us to live the charge you give us, to love you, com you completely with the Father and the Holy Spirit, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. Kyrie elehi son, Kyrie elehi son, Kyrie elehi son. O oh Lord Jesus, we rejoice in you, the true health of the sick, and we unite with the as prayer partners with our Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph, who cared for you and all your saints and the whole body of Christ. Send your healing love on all who are ill, for all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, all those confined to their homes or nursing homes or hospitals. Remember especially those whose names are in our Book of Prayer Intentions, in particular Mason Giovi, Joseph Lamb, Bob Coughlin, Jim Sawaya, Joseph DeRoss, Judith Parker, Jim Pitts, Nicholas Pearson, Stephen Heffernan, Jr., Helen Kelly, Patrick Cambio, Margaret Lacasse, and Charles Mason, and all who are sick, especially those grievously ill. Remember especially those who are dying. We pray to you, O Lord. Kyrie elehi son, Kyrie elehi son, Kyrie elehi son. Lord Jesus, you are the eternal word who embraced humanity for our sake, born for our salvation. You died that we might enter heaven and rose that we might have the power of the resurrection. Grant eternal rest to all of our deceased and to all the deceased. Remember especially those who have died today or will die today. Our deceased family, friends, enemies, neighbors, co-workers, and associates. All those who have died through violence, especially war, murder, or suicide. Remember all those who have died in grace, but unprepared. Remember all those who have died without prayer, without religious burial, or without Mass celebrated for them, or the sacraments. Remember all the souls of purgatory, especially those most in need of our prayers. And grant eternal rest to Rosario Sicari, Margaret Demers, Wellington, Teresa Donnelly, and all the deceased. Remember, especially those who have died in the service of our country. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in your peace. Kyrie elehi son, Kyrie elehi son, Kyrie elehi son. And Father, bless with love and peace the youth in all of the religious education programs in the church throughout the world. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Word incarnate, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, patron of the Universal Church, Patrick of Ireland, patron of the Archdiocese of Boston, Saint Batolf, a patron of the Boston area, the prophet Malachi, Daniel of Padua, martyrs, and Theros, Pope, Theop, Theopemptus and Theonus, martyrs, Peter Absalamus and Peter Absalo, martyrs, 
Zosimus and Athanasius, martyrs, Gordinus of Cappadocia, martyr, Serenus Primus and Theogenes, martyrs, Florentius of Vienne, bishop and martyr, Genevieve, Genevieve of Paris, virgin, Fintan of Doon, abbess, Finlu, abbot, Blitmund of Bobbio, abbot, Bertiller of Maruel, nun, Wenog, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, our Lord and God, our one mediator with the Father, our one redeemer and savior, our friend, our teacher, our great example and inspiration, our source and means of grace, who lives and reigns with you forever, to you, O Father in the Spirit. We pray to you, O Lord Jesus, to you, O Lord. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil father you revealed your son to the nations by the guidance of a star lead us to your glory in heaven by the light of faith we ask this to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father of light, unchanging God, today you reveal to men of faith the resplendent fact of the Word made flesh. Your light is strong, your love is near. Draw us beyond the limits which this world imposes to the life where your Spirit makes all life complete. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. O mystery hidden through all ages and from all generations, reveal to us today. Jesus Christ has come, bringing the joyful news, peace to those who were far off and peace to those who are near. I have raised you up as a light for all the nations. Through you, my salvation will be proclaimed to the ends of the earth. <clears throat> the Anticum for the Canticle of Zechariah doesn't just commemorate the coming of the Magi. It said, today the bridegroom claims his bride the church. Since Christ was wa has washed her sins away in Jordan's waters. That's the baptism of Christ by John. And then it mentions the Magi. The Magi, the wise men, hasten with their gifts to the royal wedding. So of course, symbolic of this, the royal wedding, the uh, unity now, the union in Christ of creator and creature of God and man, to the material and the utterly spiritual, the infinite and the finite there, this in the image of a royal wedding. And the wedding guests rejoice, for Christ has changed water into wine. And that's a reference to the wedding feast of Cana, because originally that's what Epiphany was celebrating, Theophany was celebrating, all of these. And you know, as time went on, 
the different uh, events of Christ's life were given their own days often. So, uh, so th that's what we're thinking of, especially during this epiphany time as it goes on, as uh, Christmas time goes on uh, in, in a, a special way until the purification, the presentation in the temple, the 2nd of February. And soon after the baptism, which we commemorate uh, on the, uh, in, in the Novus Ordo on, the, on next Sunday, and every now and then they just move it to a Monday as if it were a sort of nothing thing, although, although as crucial as this, uh, inauguration of Christ's public ministry was, and I don't really know why they did that. Uh, for some Green Sunday, they bump it off for some Green Sunday, just move it to a Monday. But I don't know why, really. But, uh, <coughs> and I've never heard a good explanation for it. But we are celebrating this as the the reading from Isaiah 52 that we had. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings. So this is Christ especially, but in some ways every prophet, and now in Christ each one of us called to bring that good news of salvation, the good news of, of hope, that nothing can take away, no disaster, death cannot take it away, because this life isn't all there is. And we're told that God is love. God isn't just power. God isn't just someone who uh, started creation off and then you know wound the clock and left, and will and will uh, meet him when it's all over, maybe. No, he came into our midst. God is love. And that is so crucial, agape love, not the schmaltzy uh, love, or, or and certainly not the uh, lust, which is often called love. And, uh, uh, well, it's often, as it turns the object of lust into a thing, basically an object, is in some ways an opposite of love. No, this love that God is, the infinite love, the utterly unselfish love that God has poured out for us, this good news to bring to all, that God has become one of us, that the infant whose birth we celebrate was God incarnate, taking on himself the fullness of our humanity, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings. So, I guess he uses oil of Olay for the feet or something, I don't know. Announcing peace, which is something that really needs to be proclaimed. Not just outer peace, which certainly needs to be struggled for and issued, but that inner peace, that peace that surpasses understanding. Bearing good news, the gospel, that's what the gospel means, good news. Announcing salvation, saying to Zion, the mountain of the Lord, Zion to the Jerusalem, there, your God is king. Not the great powers of the world that wish to crush you. Not the urges within us that uh, draw us off to self-destruction. Not... Uh, the devil and all his cunning. No, nothing is the ruler except God. Your God, who is love, is king. Hark, pay attention. Your watchmen raise a cry to the, the, the would be on the city walls uh, looking out. Uh, they had a great responsibility because the, the lives of the people in the city well, would depend on their watchfulness if there was a, an approaching army or something coming towards them. They had to know that. 
But your watchmen raise a cry together. Instead of shouting alarm, they shout for joy. For they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. And so the Lord is restoring us to the new Zion, the new Jerusalem. And let us pray especially for the earthly Jerusalem and that land at the time. So uh, the place which is to be the realm of peace, which has so often in history and even now been such a place of conflict and oppression and, and violence. Sadly, often in the name of God. The Lord restoring Zion. The Lord can restore you. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. Do you feel like a ruin at times? Do you feel that everything has gone out, that the life has gone? But the Lord is there with you. The life eternal is there for you. Break out together in song or ruins of Jerusalem, for you are being restored by the power of God's grace. For the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm. So that means he's getting ready to, to do something. In the sight of all the nations, all the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. So may we be evangelists, people bringing this good news to all around us, by our example, especially, but also by our sharing these words of encouragement, these words of hope, these words of faith to others, and putting everything into expression in the reality of love. For the Lord is with us. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us and still dwells spiritually, but also in sacramentally in the most blessed sacrament here. Jesus is present under the sign of bread and wine. The outer sign doesn't change, but it's called the species or accidents. That doesn't change. The chemistry of it doesn't change. But the real presence is truly there. The substance of it, the, the, used, the uh, phrase used by the church from the time of the Council of Nicaea before about God, but uh, about what's here. Here, this is truly, Christ is truly present body, blood, soul, and divinity, as proclaimed at the, is it the fourth council, fourth letter in council, third letter in council in 1215, wasn't invented then. It's been the teaching all the way through from the time Christ proclaimed it as it's recorded in John 6. So let us rejoice in his presence and let us rejoice in his presence with us all the time and practice that presence of God he is with you through everything, through the dullest things of life, the most ordinary things of life, through the hard things of life. He is there with you even in the assaults of the world, the flesh, of the devil. He is there for you. And let us sing, We Three Kings, which can be found in the Missalette hymnal there, in the hymnal section, number 87 on page 223, number 87 on page 223. We three kings of Orient are, Bearing gifts, we traverse afar, fields and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, 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 star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, 
westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again, king forever, ceasing never over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh, prayer and praising, Gladly raising, worship him, God, on high. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Frankincense to offer have I, incense owns a deity nigh, prayer and praising, gladly raising, worship him God on high. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume, breeds a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone-cold tomb. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Myrrh is mine, its bitter perfume, breeds a life of gathering gloom, sorrowing, sighing, bleeding, dying, sealed in the stone-cold tomb. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia, sound to the earth and skies. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. And let us adore our Lord Jesus, truly present, as we sing the tantum ergo, the da uh, down in adoration fallen. Found in the back inner cover of the missalette. Down in adoration falling, this great sacrament we hail. Over ancient forms of worship, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith will tell us Christ is present when our human senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who made us free, and the Spirit, God proceeding from them each eternal me, be salvation, honor, blessing, might, and endless majesty. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum venere mocernui et antiquum documentum novo cedat ritui Christ et fide supplementum sensuum defectui genitori genitoque laus et jubilatio salus honor virtus quoque Sid et benedictio, procedenti abutroque, compasit laudatio, 
Amen. <coughs> you have given them bread from heaven, having within it all sweetness. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom. We will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus, we adore you truly present here in the Blessed Sacrament. And many of us are not able to receive you at this time in the sacrament, your very body and blood, soul and divinity. But we now renew every time we have received you in a prepared way in the Eucharist. And we ask that we might be channels of the graces you pour out through this sacrament. The showing forth of your once offered sacrifice, your unrepeatable sacrifice, truly present at the Mass. Pour that grace out to all we meet and come into every aspect of our lives. As you are already there within us in that we are in the state of grace, we welcome you more and more. And we now make a spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, we love you. We adore you, we thank you. And may we never diminish in that love, but always grow. And we ask this of the Father in your name, for you are the bread of life. You are the Lamb of God. You are true God and true man. And you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. The divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. <clears throat> holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. <clears throat> All in heaven above adore thee. In fairness thy vast domain. Ever love thy reign. In fairness thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Hark, beloved celestial hymn, angel choirs above are raising cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus raising fill the heavens with sweet accord holy 
holy, holy Lord. Fill the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, holy, holy Lord. <coughs> Come, Holy Ghost, creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <coughs> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Eucharistic Lord Jesus, may you ever be adored in your real presence here, and in all the tabernacles and altars throughout the world, and upon your majestic throne in heaven, that you share with the Father and the Holy Spirit, as one God forever and ever. Amen.
who's waving today. <clears throat> Patricia Kelleher, Christ is born, glorify him. Maria Zona, Christ is born, glorify him. Father Paul Ring, Christ is born, glorify him. Philip O'Driscoll, good name there, Christ is born, glorify him. Rosa Bella Artes Tersos, Christ is born, glorify him. Alex Watkins, Christ is born, glorify him. Maureen Tibbetts, Christ is born, glorify him. Nancy Williamson, Christ is born, glorify him. All the people at Elizabeth Ann Seton Church, Christ is born, glorify him. Rodney Driscoll, Christ is born, glorify him. <clears throat> Bye now. Have a wonderful Lord's Day. This day, the first day of the week, the eighth day. For Christ is in our midst, he is and always will be.